Hi guys! Don't forget to subscribe our channel, Jarlene and Nike143. Please like, just comment below, share, and press bell button notification para masubaybayan niyo ang bagong video namin. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. I would like to share with you is all about atonement. The word atonement means to reconcile or to restore harmony through the atonement of Jesus Christ we can be reconciled to our Heavenly Father. We can ultimately in His presence forever. Having made perfect through Jesus Christ. Galing sa Google, ang tanong ay, What is the atonement? He used in the scripture, To atone is to suffer the penalty for sins, thereby the effects of sin from the repentant sinner and allowing him or her to be reconciled to God. Jesus Christ was the only capable of carrying out the atonement for all mankind. Because of his atonement, all people will be resurrected and those who obey his gospels will receive the gift of eternal life with God. How did Jesus atone for our sins? Sin is when we will fully break God's commandments and all sins have a punishment attached to them. As part of his atonement, Jesus suffered for our sins in the Garden of Gethsemane and on the cross of Calvary. By repenting of our sins, we can bring power of His atonement into our lives. Why do we need atonement? The atonement of Jesus Christ is central to God's plan of salvation. Through His atonement, Jesus Christ fulfilled His Father's purpose by redeeming spiritual and physical death. The satisfying the de demands of justice and cleansing us from our individual sin on condition of repentance. So quotes, Galing ni David A. Bednar says, Most of us clearly that the atonement is for sinners. I am not so sure, however, that we know and understand that the atonement is all for saints, for good men and women who were obedient and conscientious and who are striving to become better. At sa Bible naman, chapter 13, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should perish, but have everlasting life. Ay, ito ang isang pinaka pinaka magandang quotes at, at familiar, familiar nating lahat ito nga quotes na John 3:16 at sa Romans chapter 5 verse 11 says for if when we are enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and not only so but we also joy in god truth our lord jesus christ by whom we have now received the atonement yan ang sabin sa bible na romans chapter 5 verse 10 to 11 ng atonement ni jesus christ and then sa john chapter 15 verse 
9 to 13 says, As the Father hath loved me, so I loved you. Continue ye in my love, if ye kept my commandments. Ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments. And abide in his love, these things have I spoken unto you. That may joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down is his life for his friends. Yan ang isang maganda na mensahe sa message na galing na John chapter 15 verse 9-13 na kailangan nating um, love one another sa mahal nating isa't isa sa ating mga kapwang tao. And the atonement is the supreme expression of our Heavenly Father's love for us. It is the greatest expression of our Savior's love for the Father and for us. Kasi love tayo ni Heavenly Father at Jesus Christ kasi inasalbar niya tayo sa, um, sa atonement ng pag died ni Jesus sa cross. Through your faith and righteousness, through this atoning sacrifice, all the inquities, injuries, and pains of this life can be fully compensated for and made right. Ito ang blessings na tatanggap natin through the atonement of Jesus Christ. He is our Savior and Mediator in our life. We should pay our debt to Jesus Christ because He saves He saved our sins. Ang nakukuha ko ito galing sa Google at sa Bible. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Bye!